Yeah, I thought you know we were we were better in that area. I thought um, yeah, you know, Sonny really sort of set the tone for us early on. You know, when we got the ball, he was really positive with it, and that's what you need from leadership. And I think the rest of the lads sort of you know fed off that, and yeah, we were a lot more threatening in that front third than we have been. And um, yeah, I thought got the goals we deserved. Again, <coughs> probably could have had a, a couple more at least, but um, yeah, really pleased with uh, that aspect of it. <coughs> yeah, Richie was great. Um, yeah, really important. Yeah, him and Pape coming back in, I thought, gave us some real energy. We were going to need it today. <sighs> yeah, obviously um, with a midweek fixture, and I thought they did that. You know, their, their general play was excellent, but just their general energy was was uh, very good. And um, yeah, obviously for Richie, getting a couple of goals as well as a striker is um, is positive for him. Yeah, no, look, Richie's, um, you know, he was important to us at the start of the year too, you know, and uh, but he wasn't fully fit, you could tell, you know, he was kind of restricted in his movements and, you know, at times we, have to play, we had to play him out wide just to sort of get him through games, but um, since he's come back, um, fair to say, he feels a lot better physically and I think that's helped him mentally as well and, um, you know, great for him to get two goals today, but it was just, just wasn't his goals, I thought he's... His general work rate and, like I said, his energy and physicality um, was was very good for us. Hmm. Well, just that that Richie's kind of you know healthy now, and I think that's his best position through the middle. And um, you know, Sonny, you know, looking at the last few weeks, most of our chances of, of opportunities have fallen to the wide players and. You know, he's still our best finisher, and I just thought getting him back out on the left would would um, you know give us you know some more avenues to to score goals. And uh, yeah, <coughs> as I said, Sonny set the tone early on, and um, you know, I think the rest of the lads fed off him. Yeah, yeah. Look, I. I I've been struggling with that a little bit all week because, you know, we're kind of trying to build something here and part of that is to kind of, you know, through the tough periods, just not allow the lads too much latitude in terms of excuses. But the reality of it is, and I've probably been too hard on them in retrospect, we got decimated after the Chelsea game. And it's no coincidence that now we're getting some players back, we're starting to look a little bit stronger. And I'm not going to speak on Eddie Howe's behalf, but I can see what he's going through. You know, And in this league, you have one or two key players out, you're going to struggle. I mean, you, you mentioned James and Mickey, but you missed out Benton Core. You missed out how important Perisic was. When we won those games late, he was the one providing. Mano Solomon. So I could go on and on, and but it sounds like excuses, but... That's the reality of the Premier League, you know. That's and you don't have to need you don't need too much analysis to see why in the last few weeks we probably haven't been as you know conclusive in our sort of results as we were earlier in the year. And when I analyse the performances, you know, I've asked guys to do I don't know how many positions Decky's played, you know, it's Kulosevsky, I don't know, you know. Ben Davis is turning to a centre back now. You know, um, <coughs> we had Emerson there at centre back. So all these kind of things, you know, there's some logic as to why we kind of slipped a little bit. And in the Premier League, if you slip a little bit, that's that's enough, you know. Um, and so hopefully we're coming out the other side. Like you said, you know, just just so having Richie and Pape back today, just being able to make those two changes after a midweek game. As I said, Eddie couldn't make any changes and. I just felt we had more energy, more legs, and we needed it today. And you spoke a little bit about Chris Davis on Friday. It was a busy week, but you had a decision to make up uh, in your gut. Do you think that was probably his last game? Oh, mate, I have not thought about that, not for an instant. And uh, I doubt Chris has as well. So we'll deal with that when uh, when the time comes. All our energy's been... Like I said, this is the Premier League. If you're not in it 100%, if you slip a little bit, you know, you're going to pay a price and our focus is firmly being on 
strong performance tonight and getting a result.